How did we get to November? Welcome to the vlog, guys. Today's Sunday, November 1st. I am doing an eye mask, and I thought that I would start recording because I kind of just feel in the mood to record. I was just watching a bunch of YouTube videos today, this morning, and I felt like I wanted to pick up my camera and talk to y'all because I miss it. So I'm sure you guys have been appreciating the consistent uploads lately. I've been obsessed with eye patches lately. Don't know why. I'm usually not like a face mask or mask type person, but eye patches are just really easy because you take them off and your face isn't slimy and you don't have to wash anything off. But these ones are by Bare Minerals. I've been trying out their skin longevity line a lot lately, but this is what it looks like. I'm having my smoothie this morning that my mother made. Um, she's still obviously here with me. Today is the first day of daylight savings or, or when it ends. I don't really understand when it ends or begins, but it's the day where daylight savings meant that like an hour is behind us. I'm not quite making sense, but I'm sure you guys understand. I mean, you're part of this earth. <laughs> It is also the first day of the Sephora sale, I believe, or maybe it started a couple days ago. So I think throughout this video, I'm also going to just share some of my like Sephora VIB sale recommendations because I've been getting some requests for that. But I kind of just wanted to talk to you guys and let you guys know how I'm feeling, how I'm doing. You know, obviously these past couple, well, almost like a, a month now has been very emotionally taxing. I love that you guys are like constantly praying and caring and just like worried about me, but I want you guys to know I'm doing happy. Or I'm doing happy. <laughs> I'm doing well and I am happy. My happiness was never tied to anyone or anything before. Happiness is something that you truly have to achieve on your own, like in your own being, so that when a loss occurs, you don't lose that happiness at the same time. And I think that's kind of like where I was at in my life. So I am genuinely happy. I'm doing well. I'm putting my full faith in God and as I always have, so I think because of that, I'm just seeing the life in a positive light. I'm actually gonna see a friend today. She's coming over. Guys, I have friends, surprise, surprise. <laughs> I feel like people think I don't have friends, which like, honestly, I don't have a lot of friends, <laughs> but um, the ones that I do, I really do appreciate. So I'm gonna have a friend over today. We'll see if she's comfortable being on camera. Um, you guys haven't really met her before. Actually, she, she was kind of like in a sneak preview in my last vlog. I'm kind of like nervous because I feel like the day that I'm uploading this or the day after is after we figure out who the hell is going to be running America from now on for the next four years. Um, so maybe I will actually wait until after election day to upload this so that I could share some of my thoughts about that later on, depending on what those are. Very nervous for the state of America and honestly the state of the world. We have our Canadian passports, if anything, we can hop back to our countries if the world truly does go to crap. But um, yeah, happy Sunday and enjoy the vlog. All right, getting ready for the day. I am going to Target. I feel like not a lot of people ask about this, but I get a question here and there about like if I shave my face and stuff, which I don't. However, if I come up close, you guys might be able to tell I have some like peach fuzz, AKA a mustache over here. And I like to situate that every like week or so. So I use this thing. It's the Flawless Touch uh, Facial Hair Remover. I just got a new one because my old one was very crusty looking. I've had it for over a year, so I think it was time for a change, but this is what it looks like. I got the purple one this time. I just remove the mustachio. Okay, all done. I'm gonna go to Target because I got this mug from Etsy. This is what she looks like. Super cool, super pretty. It's actually made in Canada, but it came broken, so. Fortunately, it came broken very like clean like I have this and then the little missing wedge piece And I'm just gonna get some Gorilla Glue and put it back together and it should be fine and dandy But look how cute this one didn't break which I was more surprised about because if anything this looks like it could be more fragile But it didn't and I think this will just be so cute for The fall and winter and just like, you know pour myself some tea and stuff. It's just it's a very unique piece of art So I will see you guys Hopefully at Target when my friend gets here <laughs> We're at Target now. This is my friend Sija. 
Hi. Welcome to the vlog. And she's comfortable with being on camera, thankfully. So I'm not gonna have to like awkwardly hide her from the camera the entire time, but we have made it to Target. Gonna go get some Gorilla Glue, possibly some Starbucks. Do you like Starbucks? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna have you tried the Okay, actually I'm gonna I'm gonna have her try the drink that I really like. What kind of stuff do you usually get at Starbucks? Anything iced. Okay. Really. Okay, good. We're gonna we're gonna get along. All right, let's go. We have made the executive decision to not get Gorilla Glue because this looks very intimidating. <laughs> and Sija pointed out this one, which it has a little cup over there. So I feel like this should work. It better work. Yeah, thanks for your hard work. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, let's get the verdict now. We got our drinks. Both got the same one. This time though, I added, um, someone recommended on Instagram that I add a shot of blonde espresso. So we'll give it a try. Go ahead. This is actually really good. Isn't it so good? Yeah. I told and it's you. not too sweet either. Exactly. I know. Sometimes the drinks at Starbucks are way too straight. <laughs> straight. <laughs> way too sweet. I'm getting too excited. Mm. It's just the perfect, the perfect level. blend of everything. Exactly. And the cinnamon. Mm hmm. So is good. Mm. All right. I'm glad you like it. Thank what's you. your What's your usual order? A dirty get... chai. Oh, you really? Oh, okay. So then, yeah. With almond milk. Oh. Of course. Well, then it's exactly the same thing, except better because it has the foam on top. The foam is so good. Normally, I don't like foam, but yeah. I like this one. This one's like. Okay, I don't know what's going on right now. What is this stuck it's, on? Is it a hijab? Oh, I'm like, what's going on? Um, the foam is like, I don't know, it's almost like ice cream. It's not like regular, I don't know, it's just so good. It's, it's like not creamy. your regular, usual mm -hmm. foam. It's better. Mm -hmm. It's actually, yeah, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna go home, try to fix this smug. Hopefully, hopefully it works out. <laughs> <laughs> it worked! Today is Monday. Sorry for the overexposure, but um, today is a full content day and I just finished taking some photos for a campaign that I'm doing with Clinique. I finally have this golden hour lighting situation happening over here i don't know sometime throughout the summer like it just wouldn't give me what i needed but in the winter i get like the perfect golden hour light so i've been taking all of my selfies and stuff here I have my pompous grass in the background for the vibes i wanted to go for a whole like brown sugar vibes type photo like cinnamon brown sugar that's why like all the makeup is very neutral and natural this is actually a clinique lipstick as well forget the shade but um yeah and then wore a brown hijab brown little abaya thing and yeah i have another photo to take as well for etsy with those mugs that i shared yesterday it's only like 3 p.m right now but it feels so much later like i feel like i've gotten so much work done um so i think i might actually stop by shahd's house tonight she moved into a new apartment um you guys would have seen on her instagram i don't know if she's posted a youtube video about it yet but i am gonna go visit her probably i haven't told her yet so hopefully she's fine with that. <laughs> you guys, I have friends today. <laughs> I'm, here. I'm here. I'm here at Shad. Every day. We are breaking in her humble abode. Mashallah. Mashallah. So we have left Los Angeles. We are now in Portugal. Portugal. Yeah. Oh, Portugal is more cultured than Italy, you know. <laughs> We really value uh, disassociation this year. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, just, really I just feel as though it is very. That's how that's. <laughs> that's how niggas talking about lying. Um, you know, back to the point of, and, and I, you know, God. I'm like, shut. You're not getting out of this. <laughs> how many times have I asked you things? Are I. Oh, no, that's that's my favorite trait about myself. Is Your tangents. I can PR my way out of anything. You really can. If there's anything you got out of your degree that, I didn't <laughs> get. that you didn't get, <laughs> is the pizza here already? No. Girl, I've been talking. I didn't even. 
Let's see who comes through the door. I don't know who this is actually. Is it a mall? Mall? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, you got the pan! Oh, the pan! Yes! She got the pan! I've been getting everyone oh, on this pan. Yeah. Wait, is so that my address? No. No. Oh, let me shut this. We got the Our Place pan. Yes, guy? Oh, it's yeah. a mall! <laughs> And I just want to go freely open it. Like, I'm all! It's like, UPS. Yeah. And then we're like, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> wait, 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 guys. You have to subscribe to her channel, okay? Yes, guys, please do. And watch her videos. Yes. Oh, wait, actually, Amal's here. Hello. Hi. We're actually leaving now. Yeah, I was vlogging like, earlier. <laughs> wait, no, I vlogged. Oh, yeah, I came in. This is a little chaotic yeah, right now. Yeah, it's chaotic, but like also not. That's all right. <laughs> um, anyways, check out her channel. She actually makes videos much nicer than I do. No, very so, not true. <laughs> no, you actually do though. Like I'm like, wow, mashallah. Thank but anyways, you. Thank you, guys. We're about to leave. Hello with all of my friends. They're all leaving. Good night. <laughs> oh, I The feet content that you subscribe to. Yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> it is now the next day, yet I'm still at the same place. I'm back at Shecht's, um, and we're just doing like a really quick content day essentially. I have a lunch with my manager though in like 30 minutes, so we're actually going pretty quick, which I'm honestly very impressed by. Today is election day, so lots of stuff can go down today. Kind of nervous about it, but I'm trying to have the best day possible and not think about it too much until the end. So later on, I think we're also going to see a couple of our friends. Wow, I'm obsessed with this mirror. What the hell? Let me show you all my outfit today. Decided to wear this sweater because it was actually pretty cool. There was like a cute, cool breeze coming through my window as I was getting ready. So I was like, oh, let me wear like a cute little cropped sweater. And now it's suddenly so hot and I'm kind of dying, but I still really like this outfit. So got these cute little shoes on. I think they're Franco Sarto. And then these jeans from DL 1940 something. I actually don't even remember what the brand is called but I'm obsessed with these jeans. They're so perfect fitting. And then this cropped sweater from Nasty Gal. So just a very casual outfit, but still super cute. I'm sure you guys have probably seen Shecht's new place by the time you're watching this vlog, but it is just so gorgeous and I'm so proud of her. And I can't wait to have this be my honorary home as well. <laughs> I think this is the most that I've worn makeup like consistently in so long. I've literally been putting on makeup every single day. Not complaining about it though, I actually just finished shooting a campaign for Gucci Beauty. This is actually, I think, my third campaign with them. They've been like renewing like crazy, which makes me very happy and I've been trying to get more and more creative with each post that I do. So for this one, I was doing a post on their new lipstick, which is like this really beautiful like shimmery lipstick. Um, and it kind of gave me like vintage vibes and like Gucci is obviously very like, you know, Italian and fancy and stuff. So I ordered these silk scarves on Amazon that I thought would go perfect. I'll show you guys it a little bit later, but it was only like seven bucks and it just made, it just made the post. Like it made it look so good. Yesterday, actually, I didn't really vlog the rest of my day. I completely forgot. I ended up going to lunch with my manager, Kirsten, at Kazunori, which is like a sushi hand roll restaurant and it was so so good we were literally talking for like two hours and i completely forgot to vlog until the end so i think i have like a clip of her waving to the camera i was like wait i need to like document you because it's been so long since i've seen her so it was really nice catching up these lashes i haven't worn lashes in so long but i actually got these lashes in from Neo's Beauty, which if you guys remember, must have been like almost two years ago now or like a year and a half ago where I got my makeup done by a professional makeup artist for the first time and she was the makeup artist. She's this um, fellow Hedity or Ethiopian makeup artist based in Toronto and she's coming out with her own lash brand. So she sent over her first pair, which I believe is called Queen. They are very dramatic, definitely more dramatic than I've ever worn, but I feel like it went perfectly well with this look because everything else is pretty simple. Just some nice glam lips and glam eyes. So I will have her Instagram linked down below so you guys can check out the lashes as well. Today's November 4th, yesterday was election day and it's kind of alarming how many people still voted for Trump after four years of just like complete chaos in America. Like it's, it's really disheartening that that many people still voted for him and um, it just shows you like the state of the world and this is the scarf. It is really cute, really unique design. Um, just has like ropes and stuff. 
and the red like matches perfectly with my red lipstick and I thought it would just be such a cute little moment you know I try to get creative my with my Instagram posts guys it's not just as simple as like taking a photo especially when it's branded um, and I'm actually getting like paid for the post I like to invest and like get cute props and hire photographers or in this case just you know invest in the actual props and aesthetics of the posts I think I'm actually gonna make chili tonight um, some turkey chili so I have to go grocery shopping so maybe I will include a couple clips of me making that later so many Americans exhausted by this pandemic, exhausted by these polarized times, and now yep. Americans across. It's much later, and I just finished making dinner for us. I initially thought my mom wanted chili, but instead she actually wanted tacos. There's a little miscommunication there, so I ended up making some turkey tacos. Kind of random, <laughs> but um, I had some ground turkey in the freezer, so I made that, and Mama helped me. Wow, okay, so Biden has 253 electoral votes, Trump has 214, 270 is needed to win, so we're very close to success, um, but you really never know, so inshallah, inshallah khair, everything goes well. The turkey, all the toppings, mango salsa, someone asked for a recipe on this, and I will share a recipe in the future, but the future is not today. Yeah, you ready to eat, Mama? Yeah. Okay. Yum! My room is looking a hot mess, but we're gonna ignore that. It's the next day, and uh, before I end this video, I just wanted to quickly share less than 10 products that I would recommend from the Sephora VIB sale. Um, these are just a couple products that like have really stuck out to me lately. They're mainly beauty, just because skincare I feel like I share all the time on my channel, so you probably know my favorites. Plus, not a lot has really changed in my routine, um, and I'll get into that in a second. Um, I have one body care product. So this is the Necessaire Body Wash. They just started selling Necessaire at Sephora, and this is my second bottle of this that I've gone through. I am so in love with this brand. And so in love with the eucalyptus body wash. So if you guys are looking for a new one, um, Necessaire is basically their like thing is skincare for your body. Like they use skincare ingredients and facial grade ingredients for your body. So it's just amazing. Would highly recommend checking that out. I have Gucci bronzer. This is very bougie, very expensive, but I figured if there's any time to pick it up, then you know, when you can get 10 to 20% off, this would be a good time. And it's been my favorite bronzer for literal months i am just so impressed with it i think it's 100 percent worth the price if you can afford it because it is pricey um but another option uh oh by the way i use the shade 05 in this one this is literally just been my go-to bronzer but another option that's slightly more inexpensive but still pretty pricey is the new charlotte tilbury airbrush bronzer this is what it looks like this one's just a little bit more pigmented a little bit harder to blend than the gucci one but it's still a great option plus it's like massive another charlotte tilbury product is their airbrush flawless finish powder they also came out with new shades in this and i'm thinking of also picking up the lighter shade in this in the sale i'm probably going to do that today but this is the shade four i believe it's the darkest one I like this because i just use it as like a finishing powder and it just makes my skin look literally airbrushed Anytime I don't use this, like I can tell a difference in my makeup. So if you were hesitant on this, I would give it a try because it's honestly really good. And I know it looks like lighter than my skin tone here. It actually goes on a little bit darker. So I feel like what you get in the pan looks a lot lighter than what you'll actually get on your face, which is why I'm probably gonna pick up the lighter version so I can do some powder under my eye as well. So love that. Um, Rare Beauty, I mean honestly anything from Rare Beauty would be a great time to pick up during this sale because you can get a percentage off But specifically this product, this is their cheek tint in Grateful or it's their blush um, It's basically like a true red. It's very pigmented. You literally need like a minuscule drop on your cheek and blend it out and you get so much pigmentation and this just looks stunning on deeper skin tones like so beautiful it's one of those shades where like even if you layer different things on top, like you can still kind of see the glow and the rosy. It's just, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. And I wear it on no makeup days too, and it looks amazing, so love that. And yeah, this is the Dewy formula, by the way. I do, the matte one, like, it's not my favorite, but the Dewy one, amazing. 
Um, and then last but not least, this Iconic London. Actually, I have two Iconic London products. The other one is over there. But this first one is um, their Water Mist Glow. I honestly thought this was just like a gimmick. It's one of those like shimmery setting sprays. But y'all, this is what I've been using in replacement of highlighter lately. I literally just do like one, two, three, four spray sprays on my face on either side. And it literally makes you look glowy and like not in a greasy way. It just makes you look like you have highlights in the best places possible. Like it puts it on for you and it's just so easy and makes your skin look amazing. So Iconic London just started selling in Sephora and um, it's a really good product. So I would give this a try, especially if you like, you like looking glowy, but sometimes like placing highlighter can be kind of confusing and can look ashy and then just not blended. This just like takes the guesswork out for you and it's really cool to look at too. <laughs> the last thing is also by Iconic London. It's their um, Luster Lip Oil in She's a Peach. Honestly, any of these are really cool, but the reason why I love this is first of all, it's a really good gloss, very moisturizing, but the actual applicator is like the coolest thing I've ever seen. I've never seen an applicator like this. It's not going to focus because my camera hates me. But basically this applicator spins. Like I don't know if you guys can tell. But it literally spins. So when you put it on your lips. It's just so easy to apply. It doesn't drag or anything. And it applies like the perfect amount of product. And it's just it's just so luxurious. Like I love the feeling of this gloss. So would highly recommend this. I also love the shade. I think it's called Sugar Sugar Baby or I don't know. But all the shades are really nice. They're pretty much sheer, but I just really like it for no makeup days. Also, this isn't like a crumb or anything. I literally have like a breakout right here and it's like about to bust. Um, but I'm going to just let it be. Uh, but yeah, that is basically all I have to share. I feel like this vlog is probably really long, but hopefully y'all enjoyed it. And I just want to give you guys a little reminder that alhamdulillah, I am doing great. And one thing that I came to a realization this week is everyone I feel like is maybe a little confused on my happiness or my state of mind. Like I feel like people are thinking that I should be acting a certain way or shouldn't be acting a certain way. And I just want to remind you guys that my strength comes from God. Like that's all you need to know in how I act because the healing and the peace that I feel inside of me is 100% from God and that can't be questioned ever. So, you know, I'm so thankful that I am in a place that I feel at peace and I feel like I'm moving in a good direction in my life and no one else can judge that because that strength, like I mentioned, comes straight from God. So alhamdulillah, um, I'm really thankful for all of you for just being so supportive and just letting me live my life and letting me go on about my business and my content and all that kind of stuff and just be the Aisha that I always have been on this channel. I know that was kind of a weird ending, but I just, I don't know. It was one of those thoughts where I'm like, I need to address this in the video and I need to say this um, because it was just like kind of on my heart. So yeah, I'm gonna go now and I hope you guys have an amazing week. I will see you in my next video and I love you, bye.